Hello everyone. Hello everyone. Uh, we don't normally do these, but uh, we've got some exciting new uh, gear that's just arrived in the mail that uh, I'm very, very, very excited about. So we are going to do an unboxing video. Today we are unboxing the Sony ZV-E10. Um, I have been wanting to get this camera for a long time to upgrade my streaming kit and uh, I can't wait to get into it. Let's take a look at it. Unboxing video of the ZV-E10. Here we go. Look at that. Awesome. Okay, so we got the we got the white version because I thought it looked really nice and fancy. So let's dig in and find out. Okay, we got some pamphlets, content creators. Look at that, gorgeous, lovely. Maybe we rotate this around here. All the important stuff. Oh, I cannot wait to set this up. I cannot wait. Okay, what's in the box? What is in the box? We have our, uh, oh look at that, it comes with a nice little uh, windsock for our microphone, which we likely won't be using that microphone very much, but there you go, good to have. We have our uh, multi, our international adapters for power. One tiny NP, uh, was it NPW, NP50 or something? What are they called? NPFW50 batteries. The one thing that I think people don't like about these. Oh, look at that. We've got two batteries. Nice. Actually, no way. Does it, or, does it already come with a dummy battery? Have they thought about that? Did I not need to buy a dummy battery? Oh, well, now we've got two. Little strap. And of course, the thing that matters the most, the thing that matters the most is this little beauty with the lens attached. No freaking way. Look at that. Gorgeous. Now, for videos that we do with any more unboxing, we won't actually need to manually focus the camera because we will be having it done for us by the uh, fantastic product tech that this camera comes with that gorgeous thing okay so the screen flips out lovely rotates around so good I love how they've got it already set up for when you're streaming so they've already got it set up on the way that uh, will make it help for the camera setup for uh, live streaming Fantastic. That is hilarious. Does it already come with? Okay, so I'm a little bit confused with these battery systems here. Now, the one thing I didn't do... Oh, yeah, so it's got an open and lock mechanism. All right. Let's get rid of the box. Let's take a look and see how these accessories are, accessories connect, shall we? So, it came with two batteries. It came with two batteries. What I want to do is just double check to see what those uh, batteries are going to do. So we've got a standard um, standard Sony uh, MPW50 battery, uh, which they really are quite small, aren't they? They really are tiny. So I'm guessing that's got a small amount of juice in it so that I can plug the camera straight in and check. But we also have this one. You know what? We're going to look through the manual. We're going to look through the manual because you should always look through the manual for these things. Charging the battery pack. So, uh, battery thing, that goes in there somehow, clips in, lock that. What have we got? Okay, uh, on. Nothing happened. Okay, we need some juice. So 
So here we've got our uh, microphone, microphone port there on that side. Microphone port there. Actually, let's get nice and close for that. So microphone port on the uh, left hand side, we've got that that folds out nicely. Uh, our little hot shim mount, which is going to be very helpful when we connect our lights. Um, on this side, we should have. I'm a little confused. So where is this camera strap? We've got um. Ah, yep. Yeah, okay. Cool. 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 So on this side. We have this other panel here, which is where we have our USB mini HDMI and, uh, and headphone out jack. Fantastic. And that USB there is for charging. So we need to connect the, the USB with the uh, charging connector and see how it goes. Super short cables, not ideal. Yeah, that ain't gonna reach. Um, I reckon what we do instead, because we don't really need this, we have a second package. We planned ahead. We planned ahead. Look at that. That's what we want. Kamaru, thanks a bunch. Surprisingly um, thought through packaging for a, for a third party, third party item. There we have our, um, adapter cable, much longer cable, which is good. And of course the uh, MP50, MPW50 uh, replacement. What's interesting is that I think you actually need to charge the battery on the inside unless you get a separate charger, which I find very strange. Oh, that's a nice little feature. So it actually has a little flap here. Um, So when you put in the dummy battery, it actually has a nice little flap um, that you remove. So that normally clips in like that. And then you can actually loosen this part here. That's pretty useful. Oh, when it works. So it allows us to snap that battery in. Well, in theory. Ah, okay, so interestingly, it's got quite a tight um, locking and unlocking mechanism, which is pretty useful, pretty useful. All right, we're going to set this up, uh, see if we can't get a bit of power to it. Now, there are quite a few brands that you can go with for this, but I decided to go for the cheapest and quickest. So hopefully it doesn't blow up the camera on uh, 
on turn on. But what we might be able to do is switch cameras. Okay, moment of truth. Um, hey, we got a menu set up. Can we take there for you? So I think we'll go English. Uh, set area date time. We are not Tokyo, Seoul, Melbourne, Sydney. Look at that, fantastic. Daylight savings um, on, because we're in summer. Enter. Okay. Oh, camera just did a thing. No freaking way, you ready? Moment of truth. That no card, that's fine. We didn't need a card for this purpose. Interesting, there is a slight delay between moving it. Cool, so 16 mil. Seems to be pretty close. So my lens is a, uh, this is a 28 mil that we've got on the current camera. Um, what we're gonna try and do is we're gonna lose this image for a moment. I'm gonna swap this one over and put that one on top and see how we're looking uh, for a swap over. Okay, so what's gonna be interesting is to see how we go with both cameras at the same time um, and we'll have to get matching pro color profiles if we can. So that's gonna be a big challenge because I wanna use them both as a multi-camera setup. Uh, so we're gonna see, we're gonna, what we need to do now is we need to figure out how to connect both cameras at the same time and uh, then match the color profiles. I'd like to have a multi-camera setup for my streams because it, it makes it a bit more cinematic. Um, I'm loving the look of this frame, but this camera only outputs at 720, which means it has to upscale to 1080, uh, to 1920 by 1080 um, onto the, uh, the streaming platforms, which means it's technically degrading the footage. For example, if we punch in really tight it's a very pixelated image um in this frame i like it a lot if we're going for more of like a like a you know bottom corner you know whatever it is frame picture within a picture um it doesn't really matter but when i do the full frame stuff which i like to do a lot because it's fun to talk with everyone we want to make sure we can get the best image quality possible so what we're going to do is we're going to swap over these cameras and see if we can't get this camera this camera here put up on that tripod all ready to go to see what it looks like um We'll set up and see what the frame okay so do we f still feel like this has got a lag i feel like there's a little bit of a weird lag going on why can i not um so we've done a stream with the sony zv e10 using the usb connection and it only does 720 and unfortunately there is a bit of a lag sort of a frame drop kind of thing so the 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 mouth doesn't match up with the video as well as some sort of image jitter um, which is not ideal apparently this is a common issue so what we've done is we've gotten ourselves a hdmi cable and a capture card and we're going to connect those and see what the image quality is like there we've opted for the cheaper um, capture card one that we found on amazon that is it just there um, and then we've gotten ourselves a good quality HDMI cable, this one right here, um, which you do need to make sure it is a micro HDMI, not a mini HDMI or a full HDMI because the Sony only takes a micro, uh, micro HDMI connection on the camera end. Uh, and then we've got a regular HDMI connection to connect to the, uh, to the capture card. There like that. All right, let's uh, plug this thing in and see how it goes. So this is the Sony ZV-E10 running through um, the capture card with the HDMI cable, uh, micro HDMI to 
full HDMI so it can connect to the camera and then to the capture card which runs through a USB 3 connection. Um, this is running at uh, 1920 by 1080 so full HD. Um, we may upgrade to a 4K capture card later but for now we've got a full HD uh, quality stream. Awesome, can't wait to get into it. Go Sony ZV-E10. Much easier, side note, much, much easier when done through the capture card and the HDMI with zero problems right out of the bat. Um, whereas using the USB-C causes some problems. One, the lower resolution, and two, there's uh, a sort of a lack of uh, quality because it has the lag and the jittery and all that kind of stuff. So much, much better. Fantastic, love it. If you like this kind of content, hit that like and subscribe. I will see you on stream or I will see you in the YouTube. Uh, love you, stay dreamy. See you at the next one.